Testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay. So now we have add child constraints and remove child constraints. So we would also need some To constraint. Now, a vector of constraints or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, Starlink's having a, having a fit right now. I don't know why. I can't wait to put that on that building. That would be so much better. And I just don't want to get up on that roof. All right, constraint. And this is cassware constraint. Oh, constraint. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So now. Add child constraints and remove child constraints. So when we get a child, we have to build the constraints and then add it to the hash map. So what? I don't know, how, how many constraints are we going to have for any one of these? Um, we're going to have a constraint that it's x variable, y variable. So it's x position, y position, width and height are set, right? So it's going to be zero, zero, and then max for the other two. So we could say, I'll say, oh, and then we have to return a reference to those. Okay. And we have the props. I don't think I have enough props to find with height. I want X and Y. X, Y with height. Okay, go back. And then we'll only add these if they exist. So only if the child has a width do I actually do this? That'll work. Problems to get. So if it has an X, then what do we do? 
Because that's, that's going to be an option, isn't it? It's going to optionally return something. Now we create, let's say this is going to be a map, isn't it? Okay. Now we have X. We have to be able to constrain that to something else like How do we use constraints in Castware? <laughs> I guess we just say x equals, and then whatever we want x to be. Let sum x. I like that better. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. And I do like left and top better. I'm going to change X and Y to left and top. They're a little bit more... Let you know, C is equal to left pipe equals. Now we do strong, right? Zero. Whatever our left is. Right? And then we insert that into the vector. Hmm. Gonna have a capacity of four, then we will add that self dot is it child constraints or something. Yeah, child constraints. We will insert for child constraints. Then we have to return that. That should be none, just making sure. Okay. 
There we go. Starting to fill in now. Weighted relation. So that should return a reference to that dot. And we know it's in there because we just checked. We just inserted it. Can we actually do that? So we did that, and we got a reference to those here. It's missing a field. Can we do now for there? We have to do that, don't we? Okay. No function or associated item named layout for a struct screen. Right there. L A Y O U T. Did I spell it wrong somewhere? All right, where where is that actually coming from? Oh, that's so funny.
No function or associated item named layout found for a struct screen in the current scope. I'm guessing and this is because of my implementation of the trait, not not because of text layout, but because of screen. And in here somewhere, I'm looking for layout. But it's not finding anything. Is it because of this? That is so bizarre. Where? Where? Just tell me where. Why why do you Um, layout exists. Oh, it's talking about this self layout. After you set the width and height of this thing. probably do want something. We want to update those constraints if we change the width and height, don't we? Let's do like an update constraints or something like that. That makes more sense. We also have to do this one because when we are exiting, exiting the tree, Let's grab the boilerplate. We do not have any properties.
So in this case, we're going to remove all constraints. It's interesting because it's basically going to be an array of arrays, or basically vector vectors. We want to empty that and take just the values. Although if we if we're leaving the tree, do our children leave the tree before us? It's a good good dough question. Because we might actually get to this point and not have any constraints left because all of our children were asked to leave before we are asked to leave. In which case, we have no constraints to remove here. And maybe just a debug assert to say, hey, is this empty or not? Scene tree. Uh, signals. No, no, I want to look at um, I think it's a node. That, that would be great if there was a little bit more documentation on that. We could test it. Yeah, we could test it. All right, regardless, let's just implement this just to be sure. What's the point if it's empty? just be dead code that we'd have to maintain. All right. Godot. Print. Let's see, this is screen leaving the tree. That should be a take. Yeah, yeah, I know we're not doing anything with that. Now let's go back into VBox. On leaving the tree there. Exiting. There. Let's print something here. VBox, leaving the tree. Thank you, VBox. Okay, if this compiles, then we'll just load this up in Godot. Oh, can't borrow that as mutable. Why not? Remove child constraints should also be the same way. Should be mutable. Let's go to the mod and update the trait.
right, two errors. Enough borrow self as mutable because it's also borrowed as immutable. Is this because oh, it's because of this one. Interesting. All right, we will clone that. Actually, we'll ask the implementers to clone that. Which means we have to update that in screen. Updated to the latest Rust. Also, if you read through the... Let's see, where is Rust lying? Let's look at the blog for a moment. Isn't that exciting? Const generics MVP. I've been waiting this, waiting for this since... We thought it was going to land in 1.48. Right. That's going to change a lot of things in the uh, in the Rust ecosystem. You see a number of crates updating to things like this. I can imagine like tiny vec or small vec, etc. Yes, thank you. That there, awesome. Cargo's new feature resolver. I haven't read through this yet. What if a feature enabled in a build dependency is not compatible with the target you are building for? Yes. All right, neat. Split debugging information. I am currently using this. Um, I did notice a little bit of a speed up. It wasn't it wasn't significant, but I imagine that that I'll notice the uh, the file size differences. So I have that set up currently. or decrement, an arc, strong count, wow. Slice fill width, that's neat. Split inclusive, oh, oh. I was trying to do that the other day. What was I trying to split? There's some text, I don't remember what it was, but I wanted to split it on something, but include the thing that was being um, the, the, the splitter. Oh, and interesting that task wake is now in there. That's neat. They've so very slowly bring bring this stuff in. And that's been out in like Tokyo or these other things for a long time. <laughs> they've they've all agreed on one thing. Oh, what's one state? State yielded to ones. Call once for us. Close your surprise. Hmm. 
<laughs> so you can check to see, is it poisoned? Okay, so we have a once, once no. And it. Call once. Oh, interesting. You never needed an inclusive split? Yeah, it's nice if you wanted to, let's say, uh... oh, you know what it was? This was in the, um... Um, doing the word wrap. Because we occasionally wanted to include the, the white space. Yeah, I think it was in an early version of that. Yeah, I, I could imagine that if you're let's say splitting something on commas or whatever, but you wanted to include the comma, like analyzing text or something, or hey, we're gonna split this up based on periods or something, and you want the sentences including the period. All right, so we're gonna go to Godot. Come on, Godot, thank you. Go ahead and save that because we're gonna start deleting things in there. And then undoing. Go away, Godot. All right. So I'm going to bring this over here. So we're going to see what's going on here. Because when we delete layout, remember, we have uh, basically print lines in Godot on the screen in VBox to tell us, hey, this thing's been deleted. So if we delete layout, then those two should get deleted and we'll see what order they get deleted in. Let's, let's delete that. Delete nodes, layout, bye bye Come on, okay. VBox, leaving the tree. What? So VBox got the message, but oh, hold on. Let's just make sure it wasn't down here, was it? Only captured in one. VBox leaving the tree. No, nope, only one. How is this different? Yeah, super. On tree, enter, exiting. On tree, enter, exiting. Owner. That's the same. On tree, entered. I mean, the function signatures are not the same. Oh, it's solved by regular expression. Yes, that makes sense. Because then it can be part of the capture group. You see the difference between the uh, on tree entered and on tree exited or here. This one's not public. And this one's public. Why didn't that get called? Why? Or did it panic or? No. It should have a, maybe it doesn't have the script attached? It doesn't have a script attached, maybe. Yes, that's it. Okay, here's screen. Oh, okay. That's the wrong screen. A 
Okay, we're, we're going to reappropriate this. Okay, you guys go away. Delete nodes. Bye-bye. Okay, remove that screen. You should have screen attached to you. Browse. Native. Screen. Thank you. Load that. Okay. Now, now we have to make sure it's in the right location in the file system. Because I think it's over here. Screen. Yes, let's move you. Want that in UI. What? File system. All right. Well, it's there. Let's come back over to this test. Now we have these three elements. Let's try this again now that it's all wired up. Delete nodes. <laughs> Confirm. Yes. V-Box leaving the tree. Oh. <laughs> Undo. Save. I'm going to I'm going to restart it. All right. Run it one more time. Okay. Again, delete that. Hit OK. V box leaving the tree. Oh, shenanigans. Do we not have lib? Is screen not registered? Oh, it's not. Well, there's your problem. Go figure. You actually have to... actually have to wire it up for it to work. And we never would have known because Godot is being a little, a little salty today. I don't know. I... I like it though. Oh, that's hot. This moment brought to you by scalding hot tea. Okay. Delete the nodes. Okay. What order? VBox, then screen. Oh, thank you. All right. And if we, so let's say, add another VBox to that, right? With a screen. Followed by a V box. Okay, so we have the two in order here. So we should be able to tell the order that these things leave. Delete. Okay. V box screen, V box. Okay, great. So it takes the leaf nodes out as they come back up. That's lovely. That solves that. Let's see, that should be what, left. There. Which means that in screen, when we're exiting, everything should have been removed. Is there anything else that we need to do other than empty out the layout? Just for giggles. Hmm. 
All right, let's make sure VBox is correct there because I don't think it is. Yeah, we already took the layout there. No need to take nothing. Yeah. It feels like this is going slowly, but I think we're coming up with some good patterns. All right, now for the constraints. So screen, C needs to be added to constraints. Constraints needs to be mutable. Left pop. How far width and height? And do we want to use this as width and height or right and bottom? The example is with a slice of numbers. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, interesting. Let's say I want to play the likes. How do I play the likes? Do I just start here? Will it go through these? <laughs> oh, MC Lars. I like his stuff. Oh, <laughs> all right. So the width here is going to be equal to our width. So self dot width and self dot height. All right. So those are constraints, and hopefully they get into cassowary. Oh, and then we have to remove the child constraints for a given child. Yeah. 
Now, did that go on to the next one? Like, which one is it playing? Muscle power isn't... Isn't one that I like or dislike. Yeah. Hmm. I'm very rock ass. Okay. This is going to be a child. And we get our constraints back. <laughs> Your sentences again. All right, that should be the constraints. And now we just unregister those. We also need a layout for that, don't we? It's just that. Oh, you thought the separated would be an element on its own. How did how is it implemented? Let's say where's Well, the secret's in the uh, split inclusive operator, or not operator, that, that type, iterator. All right. No child constraints? Self, so that child. Ah, I remove. Okay, that looks like that's good. Now, if we go back into layout, UI layout. Whenever we add or remove any of these constraints, whenever we do these, we need to call what? Update components. Let's just call it update. Actually, I don't know. So self dot 
solver. Fetch changes. That, what is it that this returns? I think it's the variables and the value. So we have to look up the variable in our hash map for who owns what. Because when a, when an, a UI element is added to the tree, it registers itself with this, with its variables. Was it um, variable owners? Whoa, 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 go back, go back, go back. That'll be the variable. Expect Godot. Yeah, variable should exist. Hmm. Owner will be equal to that. Okay, so then we will say dbg. We're just going to print this out for a moment. Owner, variable, and value. Actually, <laughs> some of the Self.update. Oh, and we forgot to check to see fetch changes. Yeah, that is mutable. Great. Self.update there, 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 and there. Technically, it is used. It's called by Goodell. Hold on, these are used. Why is it that screen? So screen should be calling this. That means that the code inside of screen is not being used. So you can see that these here, add and remove variable, are basically in the same situation. Container implements or screen implements container, which means it has where is it? Oh, I see get container isn't used. Wow, this this is this is actually doing quite a bit.
screen implements that, but we never call those. Okay, that makes sense. So VBox. Should we keep that around? A ref to that? I don't like having all these refs around. No. We'll just say get... Although when we're being disconnected from the tree, should we scan the tree? Yeah. Why not? No. No, no, no. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. This should be tiny. Basically a pointer. All right. Get container owner dot upcast. Same thing as before dot expect Godot. Once we have our container, You know what, I'm just going to do this first, followed by that. All right, now at this point, we have to register our all <laughs> our properties with our container. It needs to be mutable. Container.addChild, that will be us. Owner, followed by Oh, interesting. I was just going to claim that, but claim takes on takes ownership of it. We don't want that. We do copy dot claim clone claim. Then it's arrive. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, we don't know what kind of container it is. It's a containers. So we need some pass through on these, which is totally gross, but it'll make it work. Container. Uh, 
and we'll pass through to the inner objects. Oh, come on. Multivim failed me. Why is it doing that? It's basically going to be the same thing over and over again. What doesn't it like about this? Oh, because it's an instance. Ew. Uh, grumble, grumble. All right. I think I'll wire up this this little bridge later. And why is it? Okay, it's an instance. Yeah, I get it. Hey, who is this? Let's raid them. Oh, thank you all for hanging out today. We're going to get going. Till next time, bye-bye.